Hello Crash Bandicoot fans and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we will be unboxing and reviewing the Dr. Neo figure from the Crash Bandicoot 4 Head Start figure set. This is Wave 1, the only wave currently released. And yeah, the, one of the weirdest things about this figure is actually that they call him Dr. Neo. I'm not sure if um, that's how he's referred to uh, in the French version. Obviously these were first re uh, re released in Canada, so there's a French and English version of these. These are the English only versions which were released in Australia and you can see I've got two, one to open and of course one to keep boxed. And you can see they're kind of similar. Some of them you get really beautiful and pristine and other ones you get a little bit, well not so perfect. You can see his little name banner at the bottom is a little bit off and then he's got a little bit of paint loss right on his beard there. Um, but he looks really cool. Before we get into the details here, let's compare them to the only other kind of uh, Cortex action figure that's out there and compare it to the classic Resaurus figure. I had to zoom out a little bit there to fit, fit him in, but you can see the Resaurus figures are much bigger, especially the boxes. They're huge, which makes them a pain to store or display. And uh, you can see the, the figure isn't so much smaller than the actual Resaurus figure. In fact, I think he's actually taller than the Resaurus Cortex. He just has a bit of a smaller head. Um, we are comparing them to Resaurus. The Uka Uka is much smaller than on the Resaurus figures. Unfortunately, I don't have um, my loose Resaurus figures yet here in Japan. So we'll just have to do with comparing them to the boxed figures that I do have. Let's take a look at Cortex's box. So, here he is, there's Cortex, he has a really weird little smile there. You can see my ring light on the uh, on the plastic box, which is a little bit annoying, but you can see it says here, Dr. Neo with Uka Uka mask, 11 points of articulation, exclusive mask and stand. The stand is back here for Cortex, Crash Bandicoot, ages uh, 5 plus, warning choking hazard, small parts, not for children under 3 years. And then, of course, the, the most exciting thing is it says Wave 1, which makes me feel like they've committed to Wave 2 and that we might get another engine figure turning to... The, oh, one thing to note, of course, is that you have the Insane Trilogy Crash Bandicoot here. On the back, you've got the Crash 4 Crash Bandicoot. I'm not sure why they used that, unless this is the kind of official icon for their merchandise. Um, there we go, Wave 1, Crash Bandicoot. And then you can see all of the figures here. I do have all the figures, so they, all of these reviews will be coming out on my channel. So we won't go into too much detail there. You can see some Wampa Fruits, Head Start, uh, 2021, tells you all about this. That's the barcode, made in China. Yep. Anyway, that's the beautiful, the beautiful box that I have. And I think you'll agree, it is very beautiful. That will stay pristine. Hopefully in the future they'll be worth as much as the Resaurus figures, though somehow I doubt it. And here is Cortex. We're going to open this one. Um, I'm going to do my best to open it so you can see. I'm going to also try and preserve the box somewhat. So what I like to do is leave a little bit of paper on this here because it's easier to glue paper to paper if you did want to reseal it, which I probably won't. It's unfortunate that Head Start didn't do what NECA did and make kind of, you know, collector-friendly boxes, but I guess they were kind of trying to emulate Resaurus in a way that kind of look like their predecessors uh, in the Crash Bandicoot figure space. There we go, we've broken one side. This is really exciting. Oh and the, the bottom's just come away completely very quickly. Then we'll just open up the top and uh, if you only bought one then this is the way to do it right? I mean I actually I ac accidentally ruined this part here but hopefully that can be flattened out. Yeah kind of. If you've only got one, this is definitely the way to do it. Open it on a hinge. And Cortex and Uka Uka slide out very nicely. Box back there. Oh! <laughs> this is actually attached to the uh, the plastic inside. I've never seen that before. Alright, so the first thing I notice is that this little baggie is hanging off here. Little bag. And that is, of course, the stand, which... Why don't we get this out? ready for Uka Uka. Do him a favour. No need to break the bag. You just open up like that. So you have a little disc, obviously that's the bottom, and then a pole. It's a kind of L-shaped pole. And there's a key, so it's a specific shape. Pop that in. There's the stand. There you go. Pop that over there. 
Now let's start with uh, let's start with Uka Uka. King. Oh, oh, okay, that's really cool. They're just like elastic ties that you can kind of ping open. I didn't realise that was a thing. I've just been collecting old figures for so long. Here's the little Uka Uka mask. You'll notice that he's very flat. He's not very uh, dynamic, really. Kind of like a cardboard cutout, which is kind of sad. See the back there, and there's a little peg for him to be attached in. We'll attach him like that in the back. There you go. And hopefully he stands perfectly fine. Oh, nice. Very good, very good. So let's get uh, Dr. Neo, as he's now called, out of the box. Well, I tried to pull Cortex out every which way, and I just can't get him out. I also accidentally snapped that. Um, so I guess there's no... Without snapping this, you could preserve this box. It just doesn't seem like there's any good way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to cut these little plastic things to release him. Okay. Dr. Neo is now released. My first impressions are that he's very loose. His joints are very loose. Okay. There's Dr. Neo. That's yeah, kind of nice. Kind of a nice little figure here. So it's, uh, it's uh, one of the only Cortex that can actually move his head, unlike the Rosaurus figures. That's kind of nice. Looks like it's on a ball joint. All right. Let's go into more detail with the figure. Now he's out of the box. Okay. Here is the Dr. Neo Cortex figure. He looks really nice. He's very shiny. Um, the only sad thing is this at the back. They've got all this crappy writing on here. I don't know why that couldn't have been put on the bottom of his shoes. Um, but you can see he does have two little uh, toe pegs, uh, feet pegs, which is really nice. It's a really nice sculpt. It does look like it's sort of just come out of the game. Other than his stupid little smile there, I wish they'd just given him a big lip and a little bit of maybe red in the, up the top, not underneath like that. It looks a bit stupid. Um, yeah, he's really nice. Obviously, I'd, I'd, I prefer the Resaurus or the PS1 style where Cortex's hair comes all the way around, but this is the design they went for in this game, and I guess it works. Uh, it's actually a really nice figure for what it is. It's so cheap, too. Um, just unfortunately, mine has a little bit of paint missing on his beard. Honestly, he has a really nice face. He even has the little chink on his end there, as you can see. This is just really ugly, this huge... I don't even know what to call that. Just a huge seam right there. I thought the Rosaurus ones were bad. My god, this is awful. I think that's where they kind of clip his hair in. I think the hair is a separate piece. I think it also connects to this yellow piece and they just click it back in there. But they could have done some kind of finishing there. It's just awful. Um, for articulation then, let's have a look. So 11 points, okay? So let's count them. So one is his head. He doesn't have any waist articulation. One, so two at the shoulder, three at the shoulder, four at the elbow. You don't have much movement at the elbow, but you've got some. Four at the elbow. The articulation in the arms is kind of interesting, so they can't swivel. They just go up and down, up and down. But his elbow joint can swivel. So you can bend his arm that way, or you can bend his arm that way. I don't know if that really makes up for it. You can also, if you hold his elbow, you can actually swivel his gloves somewhere. See that? So, it's an extra point of articulation, I suppose. But, uh, okay, so, five, six, and then his legs, seven, eight, and then at the knee. Does he bend at the knee? Yeah, nine, nine, can I get that knee joint to bend? Ten. Oof, that's kind of dangerous. No, Oh, okay, he also has articulation here. You have a little swivel, a little swivel there. All right, wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I counted wrong. There we go, he has 11 points of articulation for certain. He doesn't stand up very well because he's uh, very wobbly. He's very loose, very, very loose indeed. That's unfortunate. Um, overall, it's a really nice figure. He has very minimal paint, which is a really big shame. But the, the paint that he does have is okay. Not too bad, not too shabby. Very, very basic. It's a very cheap figure, which hopefully means that they don't cost too much to make. 
which with all luck means that they will produce a second wave hopefully with Dr. Engine in it that will be amazing for me thank you very much for watching this review of the Neo Cortex figure I'd love to I'll love putting him on display maybe in the future you'll see some animations with this figure uh, if I can get them to stand a little better okay so if you're looking for the other reviews check the description and you can see the other figures